um, today I'm going to talk about um, the canvas, uh, the canvas frame, which is like the first thing that uh, we have to do, right? We have to shake it up uh, before we start painting, before the color and everything. So like I don't know, like for me it's like the first thing because like it took so long until they come. So mostly I order like uh, from like the shop that I use it for maybe three or four years. I think maybe four years until I find like the place that I feel like okay with it. Um, and I think I order from this place for around like <coughs> two or three hundred frames, which is like very big size, like one meter, two meter, three meter. How? How many size? Like how much? How big the size is? Like he can do it for me, and he sent it to right to your studio or your home. Uh, the one that I use uh, is called Global Global Frame. This one, uh, yeah, and I like the thickness of it because like it's perfectly when you put on the, the wall and it's like very thick and it feel like not sloppy thing and it's very tight because it's like handmade it's like made to order um, some people think it's like more expensive than normal canvas in the shop but actually it's like sometimes it's cheaper if like you order a lot or something uh, and it's tighter so when you like because it's like doesn't keep in the shop so long so it's like tighter when like you 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 painting, sometimes we got like some some problem when like the canvas is like not not like tight enough. But it's not happen when that like, you do the other like the other one. Uh, and this one is like normal thing because I use acrylic one. Uh, the acrylic color like doesn't require like very sensitive canvas, so I can use like this kind of thing, which is like Indian canvas thing it's like normal one um, the quality is good and it's good for acrylic color but if you do like oil color maybe you consider like linen or like other non uh, what is it called non chemical or something they have like, another shop but I can't remember the name if I can't remember I'm going to put it on, on, on the ring on the link uh-huh uh, yeah so to order, pre-order is better. But if you don't have time enough, um, they have like this is maybe is like look like what the fuck? Like very this is like can use. Yeah, actually the flame that very good for, for my my thought is like um the Ready Song one, which is like cheap and you can find it like any malls like import here or stuff. But the wicked thing is, um, it's so thin, you see? It looks like not proper one to send to the client. If you be like professional one, but it depends on person. Like someone like like, like the thin one, but me, so I, I prefer like the thick one. Because it looks more professional and I think it holds the canvas better in the long term things. And the problem is, um, if you bought like, the instant one that's like always have in the shop. Sometimes they put it together too much and the canvas is not so tight as we need like this. So sometimes it's quite like a problem when like you have to do the work and they have limited size. Um, you cannot like order the size that you want by yourself. You have to choose like what they have which is boring so I, I don't do it. And when you finish the work, it's like look like not like that fancy, right? It's like so thin and it's like so like sloppy. So yeah, it's like not my choice for that canvas. Um, and uh, when oh the perfect size to pen for me, this one is too small because I use hand. So once I put the hand in, it's so small for me. Um, the size that I could do it is like this size around like A2 or something. It's like okay to pay around but like not my favorite one. This also not my favorite one. <coughs> but still, 
still good for me because like you can play around and stuff. My favorite size is like one meter, uh, one meter or one meter twenty is like my favorite size and it's the most size that people order. It's like fit very well with like two sofa bed. Easy to remember. It's like one twenty by 60 or something it's like going to narrow like this and like fit the two sitting sofa things so it's like mostly people order that side and I recommend that side because it's like easy to keep and have very good um, uh, it get very good space when they put in your home and stuff um, what else uh, that you need? Oh, the another thing that I keep in my bag every time, and I think you should have to, is the meter things like this. Because when you go to your client house, sometimes you have to measure everything, like the size and everything about like whatsoever. Keep it with you because like sometimes interior doesn't happen. Yes, sometimes interior doesn't happen. Sometimes the Architect doesn't have it. I don't know why, but sometimes it doesn't have it. I mean, it's like they doesn't have it for you because you are not his team, and they don't know anything about like the pending. So you have to know yourself and learn how to use this. And it's very good. Use the bad one because like some of the measurements have bad quality. Don't afraid to pay more to buy the best one. Because some cheap one, they doesn't have like the right measurements, <laughs> and it's going to be, to be like problem at, at the end. All right. So okay, two things that you have to do, and then it's like I'm, I'm going to show you it's like this is now like the work that I have. Uh, now it's like I didn't do any exhibition or things or like my personal project yet because I have a lot. Of private commission if you don't get what your private commission is it's like the work that you do for the house and stuff and uh, mostly my clients um, book me through like um, Facebook Instagram or like website and stuff uh, they will choose uh, the work of mine that they like and they will take a picture of the home and something like that and then it's like I help them with like the size and everything, measure and things. Sometimes I go there to the size. Sometimes I just like checking out um at my home. It's like it depends on like how good you are at your work. Sometimes you don't need to go check it out because like you know like what it is. Like how it's like almost the same. And and this is like my list um for the next month. Uh, I have eleven work that I have to do and uh, they have like the name of the customer, the size of the canvas and the color that they brief. They will brief like very random color and like I imagine thing and I write the note that I understand, only me I understand. And then it's like I leave it in uh, and I check it how many do I have to do and I order it at once. Which yeah, the global fam is uh, I contact directly to the owner. So actually, um, I will send like the site like this. Uh, can you see it? Can you see it? Um, something like this, and then they will send me the price and the delivery date and confirm. Then I got the canvas at that day. Which I have to stock at my home because like, I don't have studio anymore. Oh my god, I don't have place to work. Um, but it's like still fine. And then it's, like, yeah, some people think like private commission is like copy the work, but actually it's not about copy the work. It's about uh, you learn about your customer, your house, and everything. Some of customer have to talk to them so long, like get to know the habits or what they like uh, because like my issues and my rule is like I don't do work follow like the Instagram things or like 
Pinterest stuff. Um, the the reference have to be from my website. Uh, the style have to be mine. I, I, I don't copy order. Not because like, I'm so cocky, but like, I cannot copy order. I'm, I'm not that good at it. Uh, yeah, so it is like that. And a little bit of mood and things. Um, and then like, you can start working. So this video will be like about the canvas. Uh, and the next video maybe gonna be about the inspirations or maybe a color or something. Tell me what you wanna know. Um, I didn't write the price of the work here, but you can see like most of it is like 100 centimeter, so like one meter each. So I have like maybe egg, 100 meter, egg piece of 100 meter by 120 in some small size like 60 centimeter and stuff which I have to finish by mid of next month or end of this next month I'm gonna die actually yeah it's not easy that much but it's fun so fine yeah better than doesn't have money yeah and this is like what I do every day Sometimes like behind the pen like, you have to think about like the concept and stuff too. It's so, like think about the house and thing. There is like another thing when you do like private commission, sometimes you have to recommend the clients about the lighting. It's a job of interior, right? I used to be mad at it, like interior should know what kind of light you put on the, the canvas. But most of it they think it's not the job so the thing that you have to to help the owner is like help them choose like uh, the lighting the color of the light and everything so many things but believe me it's worth it once you see your work sitting on someone's home forever it's so good I am very happy like even my work is like not very famous um, in the museum or stuff but I have like at least like 200 people like two or three hundred people that bought my work and put it in their home so I like seeding my work in everybody's house and I feel happy with it so what? it's an art if people like it, it's, it's fine no need to be in like a museum or gallery. I'm I'm okay with it. It's like I don't think about it so much. And you no need to think about it so much too. As long as someone uh, admire your work and want to keep it, sell it. Don't keep it to yourself that much. You sell it and then you start improving yourself and you're moving on. You're moving on and you're looking back and then it's like. You share a lot and you grow a lot. And in the same way it's like that kind of work is never happen again. And it's become a rare item. And that's like why my work is like have like very high price and rising every year. Yeah. Something like that. So this is about work. Okay. Mm, nothing else to talk. Just that is. I will try to edit it and hope you guys like it. Um, hope it's help somehow. And see you in the next video. Bye. I cannot close it every time.